the bench today we have the Wampler Germanium Tumus and we're going to mod it with transistor clipping inspired by the new Keeley Manis. The Tumnus is based on the Clon schematic, uh, but as any good pedal builder does, it has been modified. And it is my favourite Clon, actually, the Tumnus. It's got a great frequency response, and I like it with my Telecaster. So let's look at the Clon circuit to begin with, uh, because this is what we're going to mod. So it's a hard clipper. So somewhere in the schematic, after an op-amp stage, a gain stage, you're going to have some diodes like this. And this is what we're going to focus on. And these are the clipping diodes. And this is a hard clipping circuit, but it has the characteristics of a soft clipper. So we have an op amp here. Just draw it roughly. Signal comes in that way. And then, in fact, we have another op amp here, uh, which actually does some filtering. It's got a cap around the outside. The key thing about this schematic, it has a bypass path as well. So you have a pot here, and it's like a double ganged pot. So there's two of them, two independent pots, and one controls the gain of this, and the other pot controls how much signal bypasses the clipping stage. When the pot is turned all the way down, the signal is 100% through there. This is quite high gain, and has a really high voltage rail, so it's a good clean boost. And when the gain is turned up all the way in the other direction, then 100% of the signal goes through uh, the clipping diodes. And when it's halfway, you get a bit of signal going this way, and you get a bit of signal going this way. So it's quite a unique circuit, and there's no other distortion pedal that has this kind of topology. We're going to change these diodes. Well, we're going to modify these diodes. We're going to, first of all, understand how the diodes work, and we're going to do some measurements on the diodes. And then we're going to look at how we can replace the these diodes or at least put a switch in so we can switch between diode clipping germanium diode clipping and uh, germanium transistor clipping so now let's look at the theory of a diode so we have two materials and they're fused together and I actually made one of these when I was at university years and years ago using a technique called ion implantation. We don't need to go into any of that. We just have to understand this fundamental drawing here. So the diode acts like a switch. We have V in, we have V out. When V in is larger than V out plus V forward, then current will flow. So if this is zero volts coming out right now, and this is 0.2 volts, then there'll be no current flow. If we make this 0.4 volts, and a germanium diode typically has a forward voltage of 0.3, then this will switch on and current will flow. And the way the current flows is like this. So if we imagine that if we put like a triangle wave like this across here, what will happen as you go up the curve, the diode will switch on and then it will switch off. And you just keep cycling up and down like that. And that, what that gives us, if we if we plot the behavior here and monitor current and voltage, the output voltage, we can draw a curve called an IV curve. So as the voltage goes up on our ramp, all of a sudden we exceed 0.3 volts and current flows like this and then we hit the bottom or whatever and then it, it retraces back and it just keeps going backwards and forwards and an instrument called a curve tracer tracer is used to do this now there's other instruments for example i have this thing dirt cheap got it on amazon and it will tell me what the forward voltage is of my transistor but the problem is it doesn't tell me the current so it might tell me at this point what the voltage is or it could tell me at this point what the voltage is and I've checked the manual and when it gives you your V forward voltage it doesn't tell you what current it's giving you uh, that measurement so it's better to see it on a curve tracer uh, to see the full performance of of the of, of the diode so why don't we go over to the curve tracer now and do some experiments with different types of diodes so I've got a tumnus diode here on the curve tracer and if I just vary the voltage up and down remember it's a triangle wave so no currents flowing right now and I turn the voltage up and then you can see the diode switches on and current flows to the maximum I've set the voltage so that's the top the top of the trace there 
And sometimes I can just get it to teeter on the edge, but this, but it's switching on permanently. But there's two elements: there's the curve, and then there is the, the linear part. So the curve is caused by the junction; it's logarithmic, and then the the horizontal there. Uh, the straight linear parts caused by the resistance. So now let's cook the resistance of the diode. So let's compare that now to a germanium transistor. You can see the curve is completely different. It's it's got much more of an uh, of the logarithmic area, and the curve is much more gentle before it goes into the linear resistive element of the curve. Let's compare two transistors now. So let's flip between the two, and they look about the same. When I click between the two, the curve is in the same place. The switch on voltage is about the same. They just differ in the linear in the linear part. But I think that's going to be good enough to have them matched for for this project. Let's take our tumnus apart. So I've taken the knobs off, taken, unscrewed this, and it should just pop out like that. Yeah, there it is. So it's one, two boards. Uh, all surface mount apart from these guys. So let's get under the microscope and uh, have a closer inspection. I have the assembly now under the microscope and this is my new microscope. It's a Joyo lens. Thanks to Avery for sending me. If you want one, the links are down below. Uh, we're focused on the diodes right now, uh, but we can have a quick look around. So this is the voltage booster, a 1044. There's actually another board there you can just see it that the switch is mounted on so it's actually three boards and then the 1044 has a few test points here plus 16 minus 9 and plus 9 and that plus 16 rail or line looks like it's going to this op amp so I suspect this is the second op amp but a clon circuit usually has two op amps I think the other one would be in between there somewhere and if I was a designer of something like this I would hide at my proprietary circuitry uh, below this and it's very hard to remove this it's got four soldered joints there and four there so you'd have to desolder all of those and try not to damage the boards and so 16 plus 9 is about 25 or is 25 so that gives us the headroom or the high voltage rails on that second op amp which as we discussed earlier makes it into a, a very very nice clean boost Okay, so back to the diodes, what we need to do is figure out out of the four pins that you can see which two of those pins are the ground lines and disconnect it from the ground. It looks like the bottom two actually are, are the ground at a guess, but I need to measure it. And so we disconnect that and then we put a switch between there and ground and that will allow us to select either these diodes or the germanium transistors. So let's figure out what's ground and then uh, do the mod. I've unsoldered the diodes from ground, put a bit of heat shrink on, got this white wire that goes around and then off the side of the pedal down there and then if we just bring it up to the camera you can see I'm just gonna weave it through there and hope I don't get too much noise and then in this area where you can see the Wampler logo and I think that's where we're gonna have it switch either this side or the other side but we've also got to make room for those big transistors as well and for the other side of the diode I added this blue wire and I've twisted them together hoping that that will provide a, at least some kind of noise suppression let's bring it up to the camera and so it goes it goes to where the the switch is going to be I've added the switch but I haven't added the transistors yet so this is just with the original clipping diode to check after everything I've got back to where I was so first of all this is the switch so when I press it down you see a massive signal and that's because there's no hard clippers so let's put back on the original hard clippers they look symmetrical. Turn up the gain or turn down the gain. Sine wave looks good. Oh, and we see a clip come in, and eventually it gets to a shark fin with full gain as we hammer those diodes. And then just to do an A-B comparison, here's the original, and the gain is at about 75%. Full gain, shark fin, roll it back. You see that curve and then we get back to the sine wave with zero zero gain. So I think the only real check is is with the guitar but I'm feeling good right now that the mod is progressing and we haven't damaged anything along the way let's give it a quick guitar test clean sound gorgeous
gotta love that growl. Okay, so now we'll add the transistors. So here are the diodes. One's now got um, some heat shrink on because the outer cases are conductive. Uh, but this is what the diode looks like. I get them from a guy in, in the Ukraine. I got another guy in Bulgaria as well. And even if there's a war, they seem to keep coming. Uh, so we'll um, put some more heat shrink on that side. And then these are the two leads here that will connect to these two wires that are sticking out of the, the Tumnus pedal. And then so when the switch is in this position, then we will be using transistors. So when it's close to the jack, it's transistors. And when it's away from the jack, it's using the stock diodes. So let's try and wire it all in, make it fit in this little small gap here. Hopefully it will fit in because these are, they are quite big. And then uh, plug it in, get the scope on it, do a quick check, and then plug the guitar in. We'll need to let this cool down now. Um, germanium doesn't like heat, so it's not going to work properly. But once it's cooled down, we'll actually then try and fit it in the space here. And then I think we're good. It should work. Okay, they're cooled, and I've squeezed them in. It's a tight fit. But the lid, the lid fits on flush, so that's fantastic. Uh, so let's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to button it up and test it just to see that it works with the lid on in case putting the pressure with my finger on those diodes disconnected something. Okay, the back's on and the blue sine wave is the buffered signal going through the pedal. So if I switch the pedal on now, and the switch is in the up position, so that means it's the stock, the stock clipper, and I just play around with the gain. Goes to a shark fin at the top, goes to a sine wave at the bottom. Feels good. It's about halfway-ish. And then I put in the transistors, ah, lower voltage. I think one of the things that a lot of people do is remove the clippers or use LEDs, which is all higher voltage. So the the genius of, of Keeley with his manis is like, why not take a lower voltage approach and find a device with a lower voltage drop? And so that's exactly what this is. Uh, shapes look about the same. So we get to a sine wave here. Turn up the gain. A little bump there. And eventually we get to a shark fin. So it'd be interesting to hear what this sounds like. We've got the guitar plugged in, clean sound. Engage the pedal. Gain is set to min, so it's just a clean boost. So we're not using the diodes right now, so let's engage the diodes. And these, this is the stock, because the switch is in the up position. Take it to about halfway. <laughs> I think with it in the down position, i.e. with the transistors engaged, it tames a lot of the highs. It doesn't feel as, as aggressive for the setting, for the equal setting that we have on the gain. just feels a little gentler and that might be my perception because the volume is lower or it might be because the diodes are clipping in a, in a different fashion and they're clipping earlier and the signals more compressed but then kind of it, it's not as you as you throw more current across the junction it becomes it's more of a logarithmic curve than a resistive curve of the original of the original diodes <laughs> I, 
think it's my new favorite pedal. Love the mod. And I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>